Da, 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 da. Welcome. Da. Part two. Welcome to Star Trek Part Two of Star Trek Droids from Star Wars, right? Starring Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, this is Part Two, continuing on with the droid looking at fun with two toy boys, Alan and Richie. Yay! <laughs> anyway, so this is a build a droid figure. It's an R four droid. It's R four J one, and if you'll notice, he's got the his two right feet because he's a bad dancer. Well, I just don't have the other leg, but he's got enough legs to stand on, right? So anyway, with the Builder Droids, they came in pieces. You bought them, you had to buy a bunch of figures to get them, but a lot of these people either gave to me or I bought, you know, like that. And you build them up, put them together. Yay! Hooray! And the next one is R5A2. He's a pretty yellow droid. He These are also yellow droids. He's got a friend too. I guess he can be R4A3. They can beep at each other. Anyway, that's a good one too. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the color on that one. And the next one's another good one. That I like a lot. Ooh. And that's eight R three A two. He's got a clear dome. See, you can see his brains. <laughs> Next up, there's another one that I like a lot. This is R two X two. This is Red Tins droid from Star Wars, the movie. So he was probably the original one too. from 1999. Yep, that's the first one. And a menace that came out in 1962. My favorite one. And the other one. Star now this Jones. is R5D4 again, but it's a the build a droid version. So you had to it again. You had to buy certain you know figures and get a leg ahead of this or that. And he's got uh, kind of a cleaner paint job than the other one. But I'll let you see the two together. See? They look kind of the same, but... Yeah, they do. Pretty similar. You know, there's subtle differences. It would take a toy collector to point them out. Mm. I'll have to find one. Ooh. And the next one is another build a droid that looks kind of similar to the other one. This is a uh, G8 R3. He served on the Enterprise. Yep. Mr. Wolf, where's that droid? And the next ones we've got, now these all came in a pack, um, a four pack, and this is from the Queen Starship, all four of these. Actually, that yellow droid, I just, this isn't technically, this wasn't in that package, but it uh, is probably, is, was on the Starship, so I just want you to see that again. But all four of these droids, this is, you know, R2-D2, this is R2-B1. Now, this is the R2-B1 that I like the best, because it's just got the best paint job. And here's R2-R9. And last but not least, this is the first toy that I think they made of this one. This is R2-N3. And these all four were, well, five, remember me? They went up to help save the ship and... Got blown up except for R2-D2 who conspired to have the other droids killed so he could be the star of the movie forever and ever. It worked. It did. And this is my, the favorite droid that I have. This is R5-K6. I just think he's got the best paint job. And I think he looks the neatest, don't you think? Yeah, what's his story? This is Garvin Drace. He's Red Leader from Star Wars droid. And he's actually on, you know, it's like a lot of these, you know, it's blink and you'll miss it. You know, if you watch the movie, but you can find him in there. Anyway, he's, got, he's really cool. Is he good? Yeah, of course. Usually they paint the bad ones black. You know, hmm. and they're going to be naughty. And this is R5F7. Another R5 droid. R5 droids are, in, in fiction terms, are cheaper to make, but they're also 
finicky, more finicky than the more expensive R2 brand. Now this next one is um, R2 A6, and this is some, but this is not a, this is a another droid that was painted to look like this one. A friend of mine that uh, uh, painted it and gave it to me. So that's pretty cool, huh? Your friend painted that one? Yeah. Wow, that looks good. So it's not store-bought. I don't think at that point they had made this one yet, but... What I think should it look like? like what? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to chip the paint off. I think it was... Uh, I have no idea. I think it was this one. Originally. And they just painted it. Wow, they did great. Yeah. Now this one's the most recent one that I got. I got this at the toy show the other day in St. Louis. Yeah, you can see that on our toy show video. Yeah. This is uh, R2-H16. Get it, R2 Holiday 2016. Get it? And he's got Christmas colors. And, and he has a new hat. A removable hat. Even oh, on top he's got he green and red. You know? But I think that was pretty cool. I was excited when I saw it. It's... I didn't see very much of that one. Yeah, you got him in the package for what? How much yeah. did you pay for him in the package? That was like 15 bucks. It was about the same as he retailed for. And the next one is R4C7. Another one that I like a lot just because yeah. it's kind of got odd colors. Those are nice colors. Yeah. And this was um, a Target exclusive. It came in a four pack with a bunch of other junk. R7T1 is next. This is also, this is an R7 droid, that's why he's got a triangular little view, little eyeball thing. This yeah. is another build a droid, and yet again, this is another one where I've got the, you know, got two left legs or two right legs. I'll, I'll eventually get the other one, you know, and finish them off. People love droids, it's hard to get those droid parts, I'll tell you what. And this is the Hoth droid. Yes. So there you go. This is R5M2. And he's actually, you know, trundling around in the movie. Because yeah, I know you have the protocol droid for Hoth. Yeah. K3PO? I wonder if they were... Uh, and R, R3PO's red. I wonder if they're astromech droids on the AT-ATs themselves. No, I don't think they're anything. Unless they need some kind of field maintenance. I guess they could take one. So this is R2, R5M2. Well, they're kind of, you can tell he's got dirty feet from rolling around in the snow, just like on this table. And these are... Some black, um, these are R2Q5, these Those are like black dangerous. R2 units from, these are also Death Star. Droids. Black and yellow. So yet again. Nature says stay away. Another bees. Thing that you can never have too many of. Those are really cool. Yeah. Especially if they're in a big old line with a bunch of other stuff. You know. And the last one. Well, almost. Is another. Uh, the other droid that he painted and gave to me. Because mm -hmm. this is. I know that one too. This is a R4 E1. And it's an R2 droid that he just repainted. Everything that was blue is now green on this one. So, there's that one. And it kind of beat him up a little bit, which is kind of nice. And the last one is another R2 N3. The only difference is it's a big one. It's a big one. Because they make, you know, they make the large, you know, Barbie doll size 12 inch Star Wars figures and they made. You know, droids to go with it. Wow. I'd like to see the Death Star playset that that comes with. <laughs> Just, you yeah. Know. Only now, it's only $3,000. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little Astromet tour. Did you enjoy it, Richie? Yes, I, I enjoyed it. I am very excited for the protocol video. I'm sure parents just would. I'm sure parents of kids who want to buy tons of these droids are are. Why would you want to buy the same thing over and over again? It's the same thing. They're just getting your money, Pod. They're just getting your money, Pod. Yep, that's my money. 
pod. I guess so. Fictional. Anyway, we will do a cup coming once I go through them all and make sure they're all nice and pretty looking. The uh, protocol droids, C-3PO-esque sort of things. The humanoids. They're not all protocol droids. Some of them are nasty and people. And then we'll probably tack on any other Star Wars figures I happen to have. I'm excited to see it. Oh, and maybe I could show off my ad at. <laughs> or what's left of it. Or what's left of it. Yep. Some of those attic ad ads. All right, guys. If you can, if you can put up with us, like yeah. us, subscribe us. Yeah. Comment to us. Yeah. Do all that. Great I made stuff. any mistakes in the numer nu numbers of these things. Just let me know so I can. Yeah, we'll put. Because we'll geez, it's hard it to figure out a. You know, it's hard to keep track of. You know. All those numbers. Yeah, it's not like a name like. You know, Bob Bumblebee. You know. All right, anyway, guys. We we'll had a good time. Have fun. See you next see time. You Two tour boys. Bye bye. Bye bye.